crossbow is made out of two 1x8s with the trigger mechanism sandwiched in between that. The trigger mechanism is made out of a wrench. I uh, just used what I had around. Uh, it works very, very well. The only disadvantage is that because it's a wrench, it has a single point of contact for the string instead of a, a forked contact. And with a forked contact, you're able to get the arrow or bolt to lock onto the string. In this case, the arrow just sets in between on the um, rail. Um, crossbow is incredibly powerful. I used an inch and a half uh, piece of PVC, flattened down, of course. For my scale, I and I estimate, because it's really difficult to get an accurate reading on it, but I estimate it to be about 60 to 70 pounds of pressure. And I just blew the string off. I knew I was going to. It was, it's so incredibly powerful that the cable that I made the uh, string out of actually has been pulling through the compression fitting. I don't know if you can see this up close, but the compression fitting is a piece of aluminum which uh, squishes onto the cable. Because I'm using a plastic coated cable, that reduces the uh, real friction that it can get on the uh, surface and it pulled off just like a stripping uh, electrical wire. That's not terribly important. The only reason I chose to use the um, plastic coated cable is because it, um, it's kind of easier on the fingers when drawing it back. And with a bow this powerful, the draw uh, weight is you know, so much. I mean, I've seen guys on the internet that claim to have 100 pounds of, uh, of draw weight. This thing, with the uh, 60 to 70 pounds of draw weight, when you fire, it kicks so hard that, um, I mean, the first time I had two inch bolts and it was ripping the bow off the end. That's how much force it had on the impact of the uh, end of the string. Um, I've still got to make some modifications. The rail was not originally deep enough. Now, the rail really should be cut so that the arrow, because of this style not being uh, knocked where it actually locks onto the string, um, it's really important to have the rail deep enough to have the arrow sitting halfway down into the, uh, the slide. You, you, don't, you, want, you want the string to be able to push right on the back of it, not to get under it. Any time it gets under the arrow, it will just flip that way like this and makes a silly little mess. It's very amateurish. But anyway, that I should have cut before um, sandwiching these two pieces together because I don't have the equipment to route it out correctly. Anyway, that'll be one modification. Another will be finishing the varnishing. The, uh, um, because I chose to bolt the, uh, uh, the bow onto the uh, stock, it uh, creates a weak point there. And it originally I was using inch and a quarter and it was bending there. In fact, I should have some video footage of that. Uh, it was bending and looking oh, silly. So I've chosen to uh, put another piece behind that. I still wanted the bolts on here. It just creates some, so much of a better um, connection. You can use what some people use, a bolts going in the stock with windings of uh, a type of rope line that will hold the uh, bow onto the stock. That's fine for most applications. I, I really didn't care for that uh, style, so I chose to bolt it on. It creates a much better, stronger, as long as you get a long enough bolt. I've got three inches in there, so it's coming down to about here. Even another inch would have been nice. Dual bolts means that it's not going to pivot at all. Um, works great. It's incredibly powerful, incredibly good. The trigger mechanism uh, works incredibly well. The, um, uh, when it's triggered, you put the string into it and push back on the back part of the um, uh, wrench, and that locks it. The trigger moves forward and it, it uh, then locks in place. When you trigger it, it goes forward exactly as you would imagine it should work. There's a spring on the back side to uh, keep it forward. The, um, only disadvantage, there's no real safety on this.
You know, I've seen other guys who have made rather short um, reach um, crossbows, so the string will only go back about this far. And what happens then is they, they use a bolt that can go pretty much the full length of the stock. And then the bolt has a, uh, a locking mechanism to hold it in the front, and then a knock on the back that holds it onto the line. That really wouldn't work on this long reach um, crossbow anyway. But it would be nice to have a self-locking mechanism. The uh, bow, when it is um, bent, has an awesome medieval kind of look to it. It's just about as hard as I can push down, so it's about 70 pounds of force down there. What'd you hit? I don't have any idea. So that's my uh, crossbow. I have added a sight to it. You can get more information about that on my website. I'll have a link in the description below. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, I've been very happy with it for the time that I've had it. It's incredibly uh, powerful, and incredibly fun, and a bit dangerous. And again, here's the kick of a good crossbow. Startled my dogs.